hi this is Jessica and welcome to the first edition of my take and make crafts so today we're going to be talking about shrinky dinks so these are the things that you're going to need to do shrinky dinks first the shrinky dink paper I'm not the best drawer so I got some things to trace off the internet some scissors hole punch some sharpies shrink it in instructions and for our oven time we're gonna need some parchment paper tin foil and a baking sheet so let's get started So if you're gonna do um, multiple colors, just kind of like make sure they don't bleed together. So just like wait a few seconds for them to dry in between. I did, you can see Pikachu. And I'm gonna work on the donut. I'll just do the outlines and then um, I'll go back in later and color it in when it's off the trace so I can see. See, much easier to see when I start to do the outline. for some sprinkles. If you have other Sharpies at home, um, a thicker Sharpie might be better for the color and stuff. These are um, the ultra fine points, which I find are really good for um, the little details. And there we go. So just remember when you're cutting it, if you're going to leave room for the keychain, you might want to cut a little extra room of clear space up here so you can punch the hole. So I'm actually going to do it right now so I don't forget. What I like about Sharpies is they dry um, pretty quickly, so you don't have to worry about smudging it. Um, so that's another nice thing about using Sharpies. And they recommend to use Sharpies on the um, Shrinky Dink instructions themselves. So. So there's this one. Or you can try to do a hole punch to start it out. Sometimes it's really hard to cut these things in the top. So once you do the hole punch, you got a good start to cut.
And there we go. forget your oven mitts and make sure you have a parent help you out with this part. So we're going to set the timer. Three minutes. So don't try this at home but just to give you an idea of what it's doing. So don't panic and think like, oh no, they're ruined. It's part of the process. Shrink. They're starting to shrink. We're at two and a half minutes. So just to give you kind of idea of the scale, um, so make sure if you're going to do a much larger keychain, you're going to want to make this like twice as big as I did um, if you want like a keychain. So remember it's just going to shrink down a lot, hence why they call them shrinky dinks. So just keep that in mind. My keychains are going to be very small or they'd make good earrings. All right, so the last step is to put the key ring on. So you can do it um, using this side of the keychain. Pretty easy. Or, you know, you can push it through here. So I'd say um, after doing this, the hardest part is the cutting. So just be really careful when you're cutting and try to use like really small scissors. Um, I don't know if you can see on here but this, there's a little bit of splintering uh, where I was forcing the scissors and cutting too fast. So just be really careful with the cutting. So there you go, you can also put it there. And it's done. Thank you for um, crafting with me and uh, stay tuned next month we are going to do gummy bears.